Hello everyone and welcome inside this new video. Today we are going to explore the render part. Now if we want to change the size of our image we can do we can modify it right here in this corner. Yep. And now I'm using 180 as resolution. We can see the full resolution closing the part here. Now we open that because we need them. At the beginning it's going to be when we move uh, kind of full of pixels and uh, not uh, good but as we wait uh, the bar is going to load and it's going to be better as an image. Now there is a thing that we want to do and maybe we want to see the edges of, of the cube and our voxels and this is pretty nice or we want to see a grid for all the model and down and we want to have a background color we can change the background color maybe we want a green pretty weird but yes and maybe we want totally avoid the back the ground color so we have just one big cube now we want that let's let's change the back from green to something a little bit more useful like this nicer let's you now let's avoid it entirely if we change the mode to orthogonal uh, if we change that to orthogonal camera it's going to be nicer and it's going to be or totally for, with the background or totally with the sky we can mod it now let's return to the perspective camera and now we want to change the sun maybe we want to add a different color maybe some orange now as the bar progresses and loads it's going to change the color to um, to our sun but the sky is still pretty strong and with a different color we can modify it like this and we can have really good combination between colors i i suggest to adjust color that are near the white and just with a little bit of color because if we add a strong color you will obtain really weird results you can add or subtract the sun, sun for add uh, more sun light or less you can have the same with the sky because there is light here you can add fog and have a lot of fog like this really strong or not so much delete it you can have strong shadows or lower shadows in this case we are going to have really strong and defined shadows lower shadows means also less defined really extremely defined shadows we can uh, modify how much the light bounces and we can modify the direction of the sun and the rotation now every time i modify something it's loading as a picture but we don't really want that because we are modifying a lot this model making a lot of tests so we can pause it and the bar is not loading and we can modify it without the model always loading in fact it's staying with all the pixel all the pixels and not really a defined image there is something we want to do now and it's to change the material we want to add something that uh, a light for example we want to change this cube and make it a light now this is the material of the central cube so we change it to a mission and you can modify the voxel based on the color on the palette so in this case the cube is this color here so if we click on it and we modify it we can have glass 
or uh, metal or an emissive material that add light and low lot. If we change the color, it will also change it will also change the cube uh, here, the cell of the palette that uh, take for the model. So the light blue here is still on emission, but there isn't in the scene. And the cube now is red. And red is not defined as an emissive material, so we have to do it again. In this case, it's really strong and when we add a lot of light, it's going to uh, modify the color a little bit. Now here, we can modify the type of camera, an angle, and so oh, we can, this is the depth of field, and the exposure, real light or no, and the vignette around. 